28th of October 2013 at the Meerkat Magic Conservation Project in the Meerkat Magic Valley Reserve. A sighting of Geoshalone pardalis, also known as the leopard tortoise. As it forages along the valley, a lot of lovely new growth after the rainfall we've had in the last few weeks. When meerkats encounter tortoises such as this, they're very curious. It seems as they go up to it, they'll sniff it. Occasionally, I've even seen them going up and leaning against it. And the younger ones may even try and stand on it and then jump off it and they seem to play. Of course, the tortoise is not a predator of theirs. It eats mostly the vegetation in the area. And these tortoises can get pretty large, weighing over 15 or 20 kilograms, so 40 pounds or so. That's the start of the summer season here, so many of the tortoises are coming out of estivation, which is almost like hibernation for mammals, and estivation for reptiles is when they slow their metabolisms down and move into shelter for the colder months usually. In this area it can be from May, June, July, August. So it's been a bit of a late start this year for the tortoises to come out since it's October now. And the growth patterns can be clearly seen on the tortoise's shell, which gives an approximation of age as individual rings tend to show roughly one year of growth. So, looking at a tortoise like this, I'm estimating that it's at least 30 plus years old, probably much older. Of course, what I'm not doing is touching the tortoise or lifting it up. Many people see tortoises, and one of the first things they do is they go and they pick them up, which causes the tortoise to release whatever food and water it's carrying as a self-defense mechanism. And that is tragic because it could have taken many days or even weeks to accumulate that energy and then it's all lost in a worthless defense. So the best is just to let them go their way. They are highly territorial. So they'll return to the same area again and again and again. When threatened, large tortoises such as this one here will make a hissing sound and they may even use their very sharp nails, which they use very effectively when they're climbing along steep slopes to dig their way into the slope. But they can use those as a defense mechanism as well. But most animals in this area only show them a passing curiosity before leaving them. It's also quite possible to tell what species of tortoise this is because the other tortoise species, which is less commonly seen here, the angular tortoise, Chersina angulata, has a very enlarged rostrum or area of the shell protruding beneath the neck, whereas the leopard tortoise does not have that here. Another misconception that many people seem to have is when they find tortoises in an area, they'll pick them up and move them somewhere else believing that they're taking the tortoise to a nicer place or a safer place and when they do this they may actually introduce pathogens or viruses they may introduce external or even internal parasites to another area that may not have those and infect an entire new population of tortoises or other creatures there thus upsetting the natural ecosystem's balance or they may in fact be taking a tortoise to an area, releasing it where a population is already full and it could be attacked. It certainly won't know where it is since, as I mentioned before, they are territorial. So this tortoise here had a nice walk this afternoon. They can walk a very long way in an afternoon. I've watched them for many, many hundreds of meters and surprisingly they are not very slow. They can move a lot more quickly than people seem to think and cover a lot of ground. They'll often move into a thorn tree 
like this acacia karoo for the evening as a further defense mechanism to cover their shells and so we're going to leave this tortoise now to carry on its foraging.